Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your week is off to a great start. We are kicking this week off here on my channel with some current lifestyle favorites. Um, if you have never seen one of these videos from me before, this means that I basically just talk about everything um, that doesn't fit into my regular home fragrance related content or into my usual beauty content. So the products that I'm mentioning in this video, it's just like a hodgepodge of randomness, but these are all really useful everyday items in my life that um, I think are just very helpful. Like I said, very useful. These are things that I would recommend to friends. Um, so for example, in this video today, we are going to be talking about some lamps. We're going to be talking about a pet product. We're going to be talking about a, a couple of like smaller, like appliances. I'm going to talk about my treadmill. Um, I've got some vanilla that I want to mention. So it's just all of the random stuff, right? If that is of any interest to you, then definitely stick around. If it's not, um, I'll see you in the next one. But um, I will go ahead and try to list and link everything in the description box down below. So if you are interested in any of these items, um, I will link where I purchased all of these things myself. So without further ado, let's get into it. We are going to get started by talking about some lamps. All right. So I purchased uh, a set of two of these lamps uh, probably about two months ago now. And I love these things. First of all, these lamps are completely cordless. So you can see that little US be charging port right there. So you actually charge these and then I get up to eight hours of lighting from these. And I specifically purchased these to use as under cabinet lighting um, on my kitchen counters. So there's a lot of um, different like home decor accounts that I follow over on Instagram. Um, I read a lot of, you know, home decor blogs. I watch a lot of home decor content here on YouTube. And I was starting to see a lot of people using these smaller lamps on their kitchen counters. And I much prefer the look of the lamps to actual under cabinet lighting because Craig was kind of talking about adding some under cabinet lighting, but I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't always like the way that it looks. I feel like it can look a little bit harsh sometimes. So when I started seeing these lamps, I was like, okay, I think I might go the route of lamps, but I found a really cute one at Home Goods one day, but what I hated was the fact that I had to um, that I had to plug it in. <laughs> the cord was so long on this thing, and so I just kind of had to like wind it up. But I still saw, you know, the little wound up cord clump, and it just I just didn't think it was like aesthetically pleasing, if you will. So then I started seeing all of these ads over on Instagram for these cordless lamps. Genius, right? Except they were like horrifically expensive. Like I'm talking well over $100 for one lamp. Now, here's the funny thing. I found these and I got a set of two. I, now, granted, I think I got these when they were on sale. Um, I think I paid either $30 or $35 for two of these. And these look almost exactly the same as those Instagram ads that I was getting. And I am getting basically the same amount of like light output time. Is that the phrase that I'm looking for? I feel like I only have to charge these as much as those other lamps would need to be charged. There we go. Um, but, and so much cheaper, like so much less expensive. I ordered these off of Amazon. And um, again, I'll link them down below. If you don't like the brass, I, I'm a big fan of brass right now. They also had a silver finish. It was kind of like a stainless steel type look. They also had a either bronze or black option. And they also had different options for the lids. Now this one is a really beautiful, like these are so nice, you guys. The, they're really nicely done. Um, this one had a really pretty pleated uh, green shade, obviously, but they had shades and different color options. I have these really uh, stunning emerald tiles on my backsplash downstairs that match this perfectly. So I went for the green. 
But you guys, these are genius. There are no cords on your counters. I have a little charging station in my kitchen, so whenever these run out of juice, if you will, I just plug them in for a couple hours. They are fully charged again. And then I have that gorgeous under cabinet lighting that just looks so much more elegant. Um, there's not all these cords hanging out. I, I just love these. I absolutely adore them. You are going to see these when I share my uh, fall home decor series uh, towards the beginning of September. You'll see these in my kitchen. They look so good, you guys. I'm telling you, uh, you know, the other ones I think are really beautiful. The ads that I was seeing are really beautiful, but the price point was just kind of outrageous. And when I came across this particular set of lamps, I was like, I'm going this route. So. I actually want to get a couple more for some of the other areas of my, my house. Um, I want to get a pair to put on our mantle in the family room because again, we don't have an outlet up there, but I would like to incorporate some lighting on top of the mantle outside of, you know, like the candles that I put up there. I placed these up there and they looked so good, you guys. Um, I really like the size. I like the overall look and style, and I love the fact that you can pick the shade that you want, at least with this particular company that I went with. So anyway, big fan of these. If you are also looking for something like this that's cordless, I cannot recommend this one enough. It's amazing quality. Check it out. Okay, um, I have a supplement recommendation, but it's actually a recommendation coming from Craig, not from me, because I myself, I cannot take melatonin. When I am having trouble sleeping at night, I like to use the Calm Magnesium Powder. I, I drink some of that, and that usually is enough to calm my nerves a little bit and does eventually allow me to fall asleep. But when I take melatonin, even in the smallest dose, I get massive nightmares. And what's interesting is there are some people on planet Earth who, when they take melatonin, they get nightmares. Me and my daughter, we get nightmares. Craig does not. So uh, Stella's doctor actually told her to take some melatonin when she went in for her well child visit this year because she was, you know, she was a little bit stressed out at school and she was having some trouble sleeping at night. And so I gave her some melatonin and she, she got nightmares from it. So she, she cannot take it. I think maybe she got mostly my genetics. Um, but Craig loves this. He swears by it. And so I thought I would go ahead and recommend it to those of you who can take melatonin. This helps him stay asleep. Other melatonin supplements that he has taken, um, they work initially, but then he'll wake up kind of halfway through the evening or through the night, he, this keeps him asleep. So what is this? This is the Nature Made Well Blends Back to Sleep. So this is fast acting to help him fall asleep, but then there's um, also L-theanine in here as well as GABA, which help with the like later parts of the evening in terms of helping you actually stay asleep. So there's a really low dose of melatonin in here. It's one milligram. And then the other part of this is obviously the uh, L-thionine and the GABA as well. He swears by this. We have gone through so many boxes of this. Um, I think he's just ordering it off of Amazon probably, but it's kind of genius. These are a fast dissolve tablet. So um, there's 40 that come in this pack here. I think he, it says take one tablet. That's what he takes. And I'm telling you, this guy has some trouble sleeping sometimes. He, he'll really get himself like worked up with stress about, um, you know, what's happening at work and stuff like that. This Good. not a problem anymore. So if you have trouble sleeping and you can take melatonin, I would highly recommend that. If you cannot take melatonin, I will link the Calm supplement down below as well. That's what helps me. Um, I've also had Stella try that and it helps Stella as well. So those of us that can't do the melatonin, I would say take the Calm. Okay, I have a 
pet recommendation next. So I, I'm a crazy pug lady. I have two pugs, Alfie and Penelope. Um, Penny is my sensitive stomach pug. Alf has a gut of steel, but Penny has a really sensitive tummy. She used to have so many issues where she would just be in horrific pain. Um, speaking of pugs, I think here comes one. Oh, you can't see him because he's black. <laughs> He's over in the shadows over there. He might he might pop in here. But um, anyway, Penny just deals with horrific gut issues. And she has ended up at the emergency vet a couple of times because of that. And so she's on a very restricted special diet. And another thing that the vet has had us do now for a very long time, and I'm telling you, it has made such a difference for this dog. Um, he told us to get these Fortiflora supplements. This is a canine uh, probiotic supplement. What a game changer for my little girl. She, I mean, she's still a little gassy, but it is so much better if you have a gassy dog. Um, they might need a little bit of help with their gut. Um, so I just take one of these packets every single morning and I pop it into her breakfast. It has like, it kind of smells uh, beefy. So I think it has like a beef flavor to it. I don't know, she loves the flavor of this. I just mix a mix this with a little bit of water and then put it in with her kibble and her wet dog food that I mix up for her. And it's like, I call it her goulash. <laughs> she freaking loves it. Um, I feel bad because, you know, Alf can, he can have some treats from the table. You know, I can give Alf watermelon. I can give him blueberries. I can't give any of that stuff to Penny. So this is like, you know, her little treat, if you will. But listen, if you have a, gut, a dog with gut issues, look into dog probiotics. It, I, I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be this brand, but this is the brand we've been using consistently now for a very long time. I just have it on an auto order actually from her vet directly. Um, I get a little bit of a better deal that way on it, but you can also find this at Petco. Um, and I think it probably at PetSmart as well. I'll, I'll link it down below, but I'm telling you, if you have a dog that gets diarrhea, that is super gassy, that just has frequent upset stomach, try giving them some probiotics. What a freaking difference that has made in my dog. She's, she's just happier. I mean, Penny is not, Penny's like the jerk in our family. <laughs> We love her. We love all of her quirkiness and, you know, her rage and her anger, um, you know, for other dogs and squirrels and whatnot. But there is nothing that will take that poor dog down faster than, like, uh, not giving her this on a consistent basis and allowing her gut bacteria to just kind of go crazy. And, whoo, girl, like... There have been times where I've been at the vet with this dog where she has just been whimpering in pain and it, it breaks my heart. So if your dog is struggling, I'm telling you, try that. All right, we're gonna take a hard left turn from <laughs> dog probiotics to uh, nip covers. These are cakes. So I kept running across ads on Instagram for these cake nipple covers. <laughs> Now, I am someone who does not mind wearing a bra. Listen, I, I actually had a breast reduction and a breast lift back in 2013. I was just born with huge boobs. I didn't like them, so I had a reduction after I had my daughter. So, but I still wear a bra every single day regardless. I don't find bras uncomfortable, but I know a lot of other women do. But you know, it, it is nice that a bra provides a little bit of coverage in terms of, you know, like your nips showing through in certain clothing. Um, so if you don't want to wear a bra, I would suggest trying out these cakes. <laughs> there is no adhesive on these, you guys. They are silicone, 100% medical grade silicone, and they just stick to your skin. And they really do stick to your skin. But I will say, take the advice of the company and do wear these underneath slightly more fitted tops, if that makes sense. It is going to give you some additional security with regard to these potentially shifting, but honestly, um, they really don't move on me. So when you get them, um, you can select the size. I was kind of in between their like just 
normal size or regular size and this like bigger version here. I opted for the bigger one because I thought the a little bit more coverage would actually be good. I'm glad I got the bigger one. Um, so they're really thin on this outer part here, which is great because it does help that them stick to your skin a little bit better that way, I feel like. And they're thicker in the middle. So nothing is going to show through these at all. Um, and they really do, like once, it's kind of hard to do it on my arm, um, but they, on my boobs, they, they just stick, they stick and they stay. And they provide this really nice kind of like, it looks like I'm wearing a bra. Like these are absolutely genius, um, but they're super, super comfortable. And when you're done wearing them, you just take some mild soap and wash them. I just let them air dry. Um, I decided to go ahead and keep these little plastic things that they came with. And so I just plop them back on here once they are all dry. And then I also just decided to keep the box as well. Um, they do send you a little bag if you just wanna keep them in the pink bag. But listen, I'm telling you, I have worn a lot of different types of like covers um, underneath like formal dresses and stuff. And some of them have been kind of painful to remove. These peel right off. They give me the smoothest, nicest look. I have a lot of really cute summer dresses that I like to wear and I could probably wear a strapless bra. Um, and a lot of times, you know, I have in the past, but I just feel like I have a little bit more flexibility with these. Um, and it's so nice to just pop this on, put your dress on and go about your day. They do not budge. They do not, they just don't move. They are freaking genius. The marketing for these, they are, they're not lying. You guys listen. If you need something like this for a special event, I honestly cannot recommend them enough. They are reusable like hundreds and hundreds of times. You Once you have a pair of these, they are they, you'll have them for a very long time. They just recently also released some options that you could pop into a swimsuit as well. So if you feel like you need a little bit of extra coverage um, when you're wearing your swimsuit, they have you covered there. This is a woman-owned company, and um, I really like what these two ladies did with this. It's it's a genius product and well worth the investment. Um, I mean, the fact that you can reuse them over and over again just really appealed to me. You know, the less we put into the landfill, the better. Um, so yeah, lovely nip covers there. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, we are now gonna talk about some uh, vanilla bean paste. Uh, I, I had no idea that vanilla bean paste was, was a thing. Um, I have recently started getting into uh, baking a little bit more. Um, listen, I'm not a chef, I'm not a baker. Like I, I really, in the past, have not enjoyed cooking at all. So I don't know much about, you know, like culinary things. So when I came across this vanilla bean paste when I was at a wine tasting <laughs> of all things, I was like, what is this? And the lady who, you know, owned this shop that we were at um, was explaining to me, you know, what she uses this for. And I was like, that's kind of genius. And she was like, I'm telling you, it is so much better than vanilla extract. And I was like, okay, well, I'll go ahead and try it. And then she told me this was $20. And I was like, whoa, that's a lot for four ounces. And she was like, it's super concentrated. Listen, you'll have this little thing forever. She was right. This is super concentrated. And oh my gosh, it is worlds better. It is worlds better than um, vanilla extract. I actually have a really nice vanilla extract that I spent quite a bit of money on in my pantry. I'm not reaching for it at all anymore. I'm just using this. Now, um, once I shared over on Instagram that what I like to do is, uh, one of my favorite things to do with this actually is to put a half a teaspoon in with my big thing of half and half that I buy at Fred Meyer on a weekly basis. So I will just put, like I said, half a teaspoon into a new bottle of half and half and I shake it up and I have the most delicious coffee creamer ever. It's just pure vanilla. There is no like booze like extract aftertaste at all it is just pure vanilla so a lot of people were saying that Trader Joe's actually carries a very similar product 
I've never seen it, but again, I'm just now getting into the world of baking and things like that. So um, the next time that I go to Trader Joe's, I will definitely be on the lookout for their version of this because I'd, I'd like to pay less than $20 for a four ounce container of vanilla bean paste. But I tell you what, this this brand right here, it's delicious. This is a, um, a local company. I think they're based out of Bend actually. So happy to support local, you know, and if the Trader Joe's one doesn't taste quite as good as this, I'll just order directly from the company. They do have a website, obviously, so, um, or I can just go back and do another wine tasting. Um, but yeah, I'm telling you, add some of this in with your morning cup of coffee, and it just, it's like, a, here, it's a liquid, right? Well, no, it's like, it kind of has like a gelatinous, I guess gelatinous would be the right word for it, consistency, but you can see all of those amazing vanilla bean specks there. Uh, and, oh, it's so it's pure vanilla. There is none of that, like I said, boozy extract at all. Um, this is so good. It is worlds better than vanilla extract. So I'm sure if you're a baker, you're probably thinking, duh. <laughs> How do you not know about this yet? But yeah, like I said, I'm new, but I'm sold. And if you have not tried vanilla bean paste, what are you doing with your life? Listen, go try it. Go to Trader Joe's, see if Trader Joe's has it. I'm sure there's all sorts of companies that make vanilla bean paste. You can probably buy it off of Amazon as well. But listen, it's good. And I now add it to all of my desserts. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that bottle of vanilla extract. If you want it, let me know, I'll ship it to you. Okay, speaking of uh, mixing this in with my coffee creamer, I finally went back to using this. What is this? This is my frother. <laughs> this is super extra. This was like a special gift to myself. You can buy one of those cheap um, frothers, you know, that have like this little thing at the bottom um, off of Amazon. I even bought one, I think, once from Ikea. You can find them everywhere. You can probably even find them at your local grocery store. But what I like about this particular appliance here, um, this is from the brand uh, Swilling. Um, this also will heat my half and half as it's frothing it. Oh, let me tell you, I am someone who likes my coffee piping hot in the morning. And um, I was kind of getting annoyed that every time that I was pouring my half and half into my coffee that it was kind of cooling the coffee down. Um, and then I remembered, oh, I, I don't need to just do that straight from the fridge. I can pop a little bit of half and half in here, enough for my two cups in the morning, and turn this thing on. Not only does it froth that half and half up for me, but it also heats the half and half up for me. So I am pouring warm liquid into warm liquid and it keeps my coffee hot for longer. So um, you can also make hot chocolate in here. That was another reason that I went for something like this. Stella really likes hot chocolate during the winter months. So she uses this for hot chocolate all the time. It like frothes it, frothes, froths? It froths hot chocolate up perfectly. There we go, oh my gosh, my brain you guys. This is genius. Listen, um, if you are in the market for something like this, I honestly highly recommend this specific one. Um, it just does a great job. It's super easy to clean. You just take this little thing out and then you know you wash this. Um, but yeah, this is obviously in the bottom here is where this gets heated up and um, it's so good, so good. Okay, uh, next. <laughs> I, sorry about that little interruption there. We had a delivery and Alf went absolutely wild. I've got him calmed down. He's laying behind me again, so let's get back into it. All right, this is my soda stream. So I actually bought this thing uh, a few years ago and used it very consistently for, for a long time. But then uh, I just got back into purchasing um, LaCroix from the grocery store. Every time that I went, I would get like several boxes. 
I am originally from Europe. I moved to the States when I was 10 and um, I, when we moved here, it was absolutely wild to me that people would just drink like water from the tap. Um, I did not grow up drinking like still or flat water. Um, I grew up drinking mineral water. Um, we called it sprudel. Um, so I just, I have never gotten into drinking just flat, regular water. I try to do it sometimes and I just, I don't like it. I just, I don't know. I really prefer the feel of, I guess, bubbles when I'm drinking water, um, which is funny because I'm not a soda person at all. Like I really, I don't like Coke. I don't like Mountain Dew. I don't like any of like those really sugary drinks but my water has to have bubbles in it or I just will not drink it consistently. So instead of continuing to buy boxes of LaCroix, I decided to go ahead and buy another one of these like CO2 canisters here and start using my soda stream again. Now, this time around, I am not using any of the soda stream flavors in the water. I'm just drinking the straight up water that has been carbonated and it's really helping me to get down more water. Um, I don't know, I just, I wish that I could just be the type of person that could walk over to the sink and grab a glass and down it, but I don't know what it is. I just don't like the experience. But this, it gives me the perfect amount of carbonation. You can do more or less bubbles with this. You can add flavors to it. You can do, you can really get into like making this fancy. But if you are struggling to get water down and you find that it helps if there's some carbonation or just something interesting about the water, I would highly suggest investing in a soda stream. It's a little bit less waste, obviously. Um, recycling all of those um, LaCroix cans <laughs> got to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. And Craig was actually like, don't we have a soda stream? <laughs> And I was like, yeah, you're right, we do. So anyway, I have started using my soda stream again, and I'm telling you, this thing is genius. And again, if you are struggling to consume water, but you find it easier to drink sparkling water, just get a soda stream. It's really easy to use and just a much, it's a much more enjoyable like water consumption experience. So anyway, all right, moving on to my last kind of, Stand out. This is the most expensive thing that I'm going to be talking about in this video, and it is my treadmill. This is not a new treadmill to me. I purchased this, uh, I think it was two years ago now, but um, I used it very consistently when I first bought it, and then I took a little bit of a break, and then I would go back to it, and then I took a break, and then I'd go back to it. Um, but lately, I have really gotten a little bit more serious about my health again. Um, I mentioned this in my last weekly home fragrance roundup, but my mom was recently diagnosed with cancer. And that really, in a way, was a wake-up call for me to really focus on getting back into exercising and just making good choices in general and taking care of my body and my overall health. And my personal favorite way to work out or exercise besides weight training is walking. And I'm not just talking like moseying along. You know, I move at a healthy clip. I also will use the, um, the incline a lot. I love just walking uphill. And for me, that's a fantastic workout. Now, um, is it possible for everybody to have a treadmill in their home? No, um, you might not have the budget for it. You might not have the space for it. But if you do, and if you are in the market for one, I cannot recommend this Nautilus one enough. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the machine over here. So um, hold on. This is the Nautilus T616 treadmill that I invested in a couple of years ago. I did a ton of research. Um, I wanted to invest in a nicer, like more long-term type of treadmill. This really is my favorite form of exercise personally is, you know, speed walking and 
walking on an incline. Um, my body just responds incredibly well to that. Um, so I knew I wanted something that was going to be really high quality, something that I could have for years. So I did a lot of research and the one machine that kept popping up over and over again was this specific one especially for people that have joint issues. It has this strike zone here at the bottom that honestly makes it so comfortable to walk on. It kind of feels like you're walking on air. It is the most interesting experience. I have had gym memberships on and off my whole life. I have walked on many, many different brands of treadmills and none of them have been as comfortable as this Nautilus one has. Um, I adore this thing. It does fold up, so it, it's, I mean, it, it is quite bulky, I will admit. It's, it's a bigger machine, but again, this folds up, so it'll, you know, you can minimize the space use with that for sure. But this just has a lot of really great features to it. Please ignore all the dust on the machine. It's not actually like dust per se. Um, this is the room where I get ready. So I wear a lot of like powder products cause you know, I have oily skin. So um, this thing, every week, I dust it every single week. And um, I just, you know, did this prior to coming in here and filming. And this is, uh, this is basically mostly Laura Geller Balance and Brighton. So I got to dust it again, obviously. But um, listen, this has a ton of different cubbies. So if you want to, you know, stick your phone in here, um, has this thing where, you know, you can put your tablet or whatever. Um, there's a bunch of things that you pre-programmed, um, things that you can select from. I typically don't use those. There's a fan. Um, there's more storage down here. You can see I store my headphones down there. This is, this is a really great machine, you guys. It's so comfortable to walk on. I'm absolutely in love with it. I love the fact that it has speakers. It's got the Bluetooth. It's just it's kind of got everything that I was looking for in a machine. Again, it was a little bit more expensive than I was initially planning on spending, but I tell you what, zero regrets. And after having taken a little bit of a break from exercising and now getting back into it, I really appreciate this machine even more. Um, we are probably going to be going back to the gym in January because Craig wants to start weight training again. So um, I'll probably join him at the gym for that, but I will not use the treadmills at the gym. I will come home and I will use this because this, I'm telling you, it's like walking on a cloud. It's glorious. If you struggle with joint issues, but you want a treadmill for your home, I just cannot recommend this one enough. Um, I don't know if there's any sales happening on these right now. I got this one on sale. Uh, it was, I think I bought it like in January or something. So I got a fairly good deal on it. Um, you know, maybe wait until January <laughs> to pick it up. But if you're in the market at all, look this one up. The reviews are great and I've had an absolutely glorious experience with it. So anyway, if you're in the market, grab this one. It's a good one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here for today's video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Check out the description box for all of the links that I mentioned. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Tiddly.